Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to record a down payment on an invoice. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and I want to jump right into this. Uh, as a business, uh, oftentimes you are going to send out invoices that you might get a down payment for. And so you need to know how to record this easily in QuickBooks. I see a lot of people do this in various ways, uh, but there, there is a pretty simple way to do it. And I want to show you how to do that now. Okay. All right. So here we are on the home screen. And what you want to do first is you want to go to your item list. So if I go to lists, go down to item list. Okay. You're going to see you've got all your items here. Uh, and if you're not that familiar with QuickBooks, these are all the items that you are going to bill for. Uh, but it also includes some other things. You've got inventory, non-inventory, other charges for invoices. Uh, you've got subtotals, groups, discounts, and then what we're going to look at here are payments. And then also you've got sales tax items. Okay. All right. So th this sample company file, you'll see they already have an item set up here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit this item. And you'll see here that it's a very simple, it just says payment used to record a partial payment at the time of the sale. It reduces the amount owed on an invoice. All right. And it's called payment, payment method, check, and then group with other undeposited funds. Okay. So I'm going to, let's set up another one here just so I can walk you through the steps. Okay. So if I go here to item, I click new. All right, we've got to choose the type. Okay, so this is going to be a payment. All right, and we are going to call this a down payment. Okay, and in the description, uh, you can put uh, down payment or whoops, spelled that wrong, but you can put whatever you want to in the description here. This is what's going to show up on your invoice down payment. Okay. Payment method, you know, you can you can put in check, so it's going to default to that every single time, or you can leave it blank, okay? And, you know, because sometimes people will pay by, you know, debit card, credit card, whatever it is. Uh, but if you want to choose one, you can, okay? You'll just have to change this <clears throat> if they pay by a different method. All right. So now here, group with other undeposited funds. Okay, so this in QuickBooks, uh, if you're not familiar with this, I have other videos on this you can watch, but uh, essentially if somebody gives you a check and you don't take it to the bank immediately or make a deposit immediately, it's gonna go to undeposited funds, okay? We're gonna leave it there, undeposited funds, or you can choose deposit to a checking account or whatever account it is, okay? So let's hit okay. All right, so now we have our item set up and it's a down payment. All right, so let's go and create an invoice. So if we go to customers, create invoices. All right, we're going to pick, uh, I'm just going to pick, let's say Tony's Barbershop Remodel. And if you have uh, classes set up, we're going to choose our class, make sure your dates and, and all the terms and everything are right. So I'm just going to pick a few items here. We'll say that there are blueprint changes. We'll say that there's some framing. We'll say that there's some installation and we will say that there is some labor. Okay. So we're going to say that this is the invoice that we're going to do for Tony's barbershop. Let me put in some, uh, let's see, let's say the blueprint changes. We had five of them framing labor we had 20 hours uh, installation labor another 20 hours and then this labor let's say we had 30 hours okay so you see there the total for our invoice is four thousand five hundred dollars all right because this is labor and some blueprint changes it's non-taxable okay but let's say that uh tony yep tony's barbershop let's put a subtotal in here okay and I believe I've got that on another video you can watch, but this is a subtotal item. Okay. You'll see that it subtotals on the face of the invoice. Okay. And then let's say that he made a down payment. Okay. So we choose our down payment item. It says down payment. All right. Rate amount. 
All you're going to do is put in the amount. Let's say that he put in $1,500 and you can just put in that as a positive number and it shows up negative. So now it shows balance due $3,000. Okay. And so on here, you can put down payment. You know, let's say it was check number 43899. And you can put in other information if you want to do that, but uh, you don't need to. It's totally up to you. So we show $1,500 and $3,000. Okay. So now we show this invoice. It's ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to either email or print and mail this to him, whatever the case may be. But now we have shown the down payment. So if we hit save and close. All right. So now if, if I now uh, want to see, let's say that um, Tony is going to pay the rest of his invoice. We go to customers. Uh, if I say receive payments. Okay, so we'll say Tony's Barbershop, and you'll see here the amount due is $3,000. Okay, so it has now reflected that $1,500, and that goes into the checking account. It reduces this amount due, and Tony just owes us $3,000. Okay? If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and, and also head over to the website, qbuniversity.org. I've got uh, some great... Uh, free videos over there that show you some pretty common mistakes a lot of QuickBooks users make. Um, it's 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 pretty amazing uh, how much these three free videos help people simply learn how to use QuickBooks a little bit better. So head on over there now, qbuniversity.org, and I look forward to talking to you soon.